Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you how I make my enchiladas, my chicken enchiladas in a creamy sauce. So if you're interested in how I prepared this meal, please stay tuned. These are the ingredients that I'll be using to cook the chicken. I have three pounds of chicken breast that I've cleaned and seasoned with my own blend of seasonings one jalapeno pepper and I roughly chopped one onion, two stalks of celery, one cup of carrots. I have a lot of garlic because I love onions and garlic and chicken bouillon. I use two tablespoons of chicken bouillon and I also have two cups of water. In a large pot, you wanna add your two cups of water. And let me add that you will need more than two cups of water. Um, I use about six cups of water all together because when, when you make your sauce, you're gonna use chicken broth and I'm gonna be using the broth from this chicken to use in our sauce that we'll be making later. After I added my water, I put two tablespoons of the chicken bouillon in the pot and all of the vegetables. Then I added the chicken and then I added more water to cover the chicken. And then I let the, um, all of the ingredients boil until the chicken was tender. This is how the chicken and vegetables looked after cooking for about an hour and 20 minutes. And here's the chicken breast after they have been removed from the chicken broth. I allowed the chicken breast to cool for about 10 minutes. Now it's time to shred the chicken. Now you can shred your chicken using two forks as I'm doing here.
or you can just use your hands. I prefer to use my hands. The chicken has been cooked so it's very tender, so it's very convenient to just shred it using your fingers. After you've shredded your chicken, put your chicken in a bowl and set aside. And here I'm just showing you how the chicken looked after I shredded it. And for this recipe, I'll be using Monterey Jack cheese, La Morenita queso fresco cheese, and I also use a Monterey Jack blend cheese. And here I'm just grating the queso fresco cheese. These are the ingredients that you'll be needing to make your creamy sour cream sauce. I have three tablespoons of flour, a half a stick of butter, and sour cream, and I have the chicken broth. This is the chicken broth from the chicken that we cooked earlier. But you can also use store-bought chicken broth. I just think that the broth from the chicken that you cook is more flavorful. In a pan, you want to melt your half a stick of butter. After your butter has melted, you want to gradually add in your all-purpose flour and whisk together.
after whisking your butter and your all-purpose flour together you want to let it cook for a minute or two and then you want to add some of your chicken broth This is how the sauce looked after I've whisked together the butter and the flour and about two and a half cups of the chicken broth. Next, I added a can of green chilies to the sauce. This is optional. Stir in your diced green chilies and allow your sauce to thicken. Once your sauce has reached the thickness that you desire, remove your pan from the heat and allow your sauce to cool for about five to 10 minutes. Now my sauce has been set aside and cooling for about eight minutes, and it's time to add the sour cream. It's imperative that you allow your sauce to cool before adding the sour cream, because if the sauce is too hot, it will curdle your sour cream, and then your sauce will be ruined. Feel free to use as much or as less sour cream as you like. We like ours a little on the creamy side, so I used approximately two cups of sour cream. Make sure you stir, stir, stir until all of your sour cream is incorporated into your sauce mixture and then set aside. Now you want to pour a small amount of your creamy sauce in the bottom of a baking dish. Now you can use white corn tortillas or you can use flour tortillas. Today I'm using Mission yellow corn tortillas because those are the tortillas that we like. Now it's time to roll our enchiladas, but before we do that, we will have to make our tortillas pliable to roll. So what I've done is just steam my tortillas for a couple of minutes. You can also 
uh, make your tortillas pliable by putting them in a skillet or a flat grill with a little bit of oil and cook them for one minute on each side. Also, if you do not have a tortilla warmer, you can lightly dampen a paper towel and wrap your tortillas inside of the paper towel and place them in your microwave for about 45 seconds to a minute. This is how the chicken enchiladas look after baking in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour um, on 360 degrees Fahrenheit. These chicken enchiladas turned out so delicious. I hope you try this recipe. I paired the enchiladas with yellow rice and a side salad. I thank you all very kindly for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, bon appetit.